గోల్ గుంబజ్ గోల్ గుంబజ్ ఈజ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఫేమస్ మాన్యుమెంట్ ఇన్ విజయపుర బీజాపుర అనదర్ నేమ్ ఈజ్ బీజాపుర అండ్ లొకేటెడ్ అట్ నార్త్ కర్ణాటక ఇట్ ఈస్ ద టామ్ ఆఫ్ మహమ్మద్ ఆదిల్ షా ఇన్ గోల్ గుంబజ్ కాంప్లెక్స్ వీ కెన్ సీ ఏ మాస్క్ అండ్ నకర్కానా ఏ బిగ్ హాల్ నౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూజ్డ్ యాజ్ ఏ మ్యూజియం అండ్ ఏ వెల్ మెయింటైన్ గార్డెన్ అండ్ ఏ ధర్మశాల ఆల్సో now we are going inside it is the biggest dome in the world with a history of more than 350 years it is the second largest dome ever built next in size only to saint peter's basilica in rome a particular attraction in this monument is the central chamber where every sound is echoed 7 times or 11 times another attraction at the gol gumbaj is the whispering gallery where even minute sounds can be heard clearly 37 meters away mad adil shah built this huge structure during his reign because he wanted his tomb to be better than the tomb of his father ibrahim rauja this monument is sometimes referred to as the taj mahal of south india also The mausoleum has an area of approximately 700 square meters and has one of the biggest single chamber spaces in the world. A whispering gallery is present running round the monument in which sound produces echo due to soft walls and absence of pillars. The architectural style of the building is Deccan Indo-Islamic which is a perfect confluence of Indo-Islamic and Dravidian architecture. The name Gol Gumbaj has been derived from the words Gol Gumbath or Gol Gummata which means a dome in the circular shape since the most prominent feature of the structure is its gained circular dome it came to be known as such This grand mausoleum is the final resting place of Muhammad Adil Shah who was the ruler of Bijapur during the 17th century The Bijapur Gol Gumbaj houses the mortal remains of the Sultan his two wives Tajahan Begum and Aruz Bibi his daughter grandson and his mistress Ramba The construction of the structure dates back to 1626 when the sultan had just ascended to the throne it was his idea to build an impressive mausoleum for himself The dome was surrounded by four chambers. Each chamber has seven floors to reach the top floor. Now we are climbing stairs to reach top floor. There we can see city view of the Bijapur and uh, top view of uh, the tomb. Another impressive aspect of this structure is that there are no towers or pillars that provide support to the huge dome which is an architectural marvel in itself.
it is the second largest dome in world a particular attraction in this monument is the central chamber where every sound is echoed seven times another attraction at the gol gumbaj is the whispering gallery where even when its sound can be heard clearly 37 meters away a commendable piece of civil engineering this amazing ecosystem reflects any sound for over 11 times it has been designed in such a way that one can even hear the faintest tick of a watch across a distance of about 37 meters within the vast dome In front of Gol Gumbaj Monument, there is a one building. This is a museum, Nakar Kana. Uh, this is the big hall. Now they are using it as a museum. This is surrounded by a huge beautiful and well maintained garden. Damo Do you like this place? Yes. Today Gol Gumbaj stands as one of the most significant heritage monuments in India maintained by the Archaeological Survey of India. If you are planning a trip to Northern Karnataka, make sure to keep aside some time. to explore this grand structure